Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And you know what? It's time for tea. My cup right now is a brewing. No, I will not fix your computer today. And um, yeah, tell me about this tea. The tea's not ready yet. Still uh, at least four minutes to steep on this one. I've set my timer, it's up there, which is why I had to squint at it. Uh, this tea comes from my July box. Yes, I'm still using my July box of teas. Uh, made for Deborah, or some say Debra, by Sipspy. Sipspy is a subscription that I pay for. If they wanted to sponsor me, that would be cool, but right now I pay for the subscription. So there is that. Now, let's see what I've got. This is the box OT, by the way. I'm going to close it back up. It comes in these nice little cardboard boxes. You can save them, you can recycle them, you can reuse them if it's something you want to use. I like the little boxes they come with. The tea today is one of these. This is Raspberry Passion Perfect Energy. Energizes and supports focus. Contains caffeine. Herbal supplement, it says. Now on the back, pardon me. Get the most out of every cup. Bring water to boiling and steep five minutes. For a stronger tea, use two tea bags. Drink three to four cups daily. Well, they're trying to push their stuff, aren't they? Gives you all the ingredients. Um, organic Assam black tea leaf. Organic green tea leaf. Organic hibiscus flower. Organic stevia leaf. Organic green... Uh, Organic raspberry flavor, yes. Organic sage leaf. Citric acid. Organic green tea leaf extract. Organic vanilla flavor. Organic raspberries. Organic ashwagandha root. Organic shutavari root. Organic passion fruit flavor, L theanine, sun something, I don't know. Warning consult your health care provider prior to use if you are pregnant or nursing. Never gonna happen. Thank you. Um, each tea bag contains approximately 70 milligrams of caffeine as compared to approximately eight, 90 milligrams in eight ounces of coffee. Okay, that's what it says, and this is by Yogi International, Yogi Products. There you go. And on here, it says, it gives all those same ingredients again, and it says high caffeine. And they want you to drink three or four cups a day of this stuff? They'll have you bouncing off the blasted walls. The blend contains both green and black teas with amino acid L-theanine, traditional... Ayurvedic herbs and sage, a delicious, energizing combination that supports mental focus. That was my beat for five minutes of steeping. So we'll see. We'll see. And yes, everything that you don't know, you don't have to say organic that many times on a label. I mean maybe you do, whatever. Still needs a little extra bloop 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 far as I'm concerned. And also on the little uh, tea bag tag, it says the heart sees deeper than the eye. And that reminds me of, there was a song by a group called Scandal back in the 80s. We're traveling back in time now during time for tea called The Warrior. And one of the lines said, your eyes touch me physically. I always wondered about that. If somebody's eye is touching you physically, A, that's gross, and B, wouldn't that hurt? I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to, while the song is playing, like be able to like pop out a fake eye or something and just go eh, on somebody's arm. Because, you know, your eyes touch me physically. Yeah. But that is me, right? <laughs> If you know the song, you know the song. All right. It has been a good five and a half minutes now. The color of this, not very dark. 
still has the bag in it. You can kind of see through it there. It's a sort of a light tan. I guess it's because it's a mixture of the uh, black and green teas. It smelled lovely. I opened the packet and I was like, oh, I smell raspberry. That was very nice. So let's see if I can get a sip of this without burning my face off. Because, you know, we don't want to burn my face off. It smells lovely, actually. Yes, it's hot. It's boiling water. 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. That's nice. Get the raspberry flavor. I'm not getting any weird aftertaste like I do on some things. And I guess it does have some of that stevia in there, which gives it a touch of sweetness without being overly sweet. Let's try some more. Mm. So I just went for a third sip and it being unsweetened. So yeah, you know I'm liking something. Quite nice, quite nice. I know I haven't been taking enough time for tea lately. I am attempting to get my office space, which is in the other room, um, redecorated. I've had the spring and summer stuff up, you know, but it's August. It's August. It's time to decorate for fall and Halloween. Because I said so. It just is. <laughs> I have already switched out and put my Halloween wreath behind me, but I have so much more to do. I have purchased so much more Halloween stuff. And did I already have some? Yeah. Did I buy more anyway? Yeah. I love Halloween. It's my favorite. That and Thanksgiving. But Thanksgiving is more for the food. Um, Halloween is for all the, the spooky wonderfulness, loveliness. And Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving is all about cooking all that food and eating all that food. And I have the week off this year, so that tickles me a little bit. I get to cook. Last year I didn't. It made me kind of sad that I didn't last year. This year with our friend Sean, um, being booted out of his job, he's getting a new job. He's, he is landing just fine. Thank you. Um, but is it, he's probably not going to get the week, the holiday off. He'll be the new guy, you know, which kind of makes me sad because he always comes down here for Thanksgiving. I need to add some creamer to this. I think let's give it a shot. This is my sugar-free French vanilla creamer, which I add to pretty much everything. Oh wait, we have to be able to see this, don't we? How can I do this and not spill any? Love to watch that. Anyway, where was I? Thanksgiving. <laughs> Had to watch the, the little clouds come up. Uh, Thanksgiving has always been sort of a favorite holiday of mine because of all the food, all the cooking. And there were many years when we were living close to where my grandmother was and when I was living with my grandmother, she always went all out. She had all the sides, turkey and ham and every side you can think of, uh, creamed onions. And she always had mashed turnips and mashed potatoes and mashed turnip and potatoes together, you know, Literally every side dish you could imagine was there. We always had a full, full table. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The vanilla added to it with the sweetness of that creamer really brought it up a notch. That vanilla, the raspberry needed the vanilla. It just did. You know, it's good before, it's better now. It's still too hot to just stick my vase in and drink, though. I remember one year for Thanksgiving, um, one of her sons, my uncle, uh, decided he was going to fry a turkey as well. So he brought down a fryer. We had it outside on the outer deck of their house. And of course, when you do that, it splatters everywhere. For years, there was a stain, like a grease stain on the deck where they did it <laughs> way out far. It's like, yeah. So we had fried turkey as well that year. Um, but yeah. My favorite side dish is always, I love um, stuffing slash dressing. Um, I don't ever stuff 
my birds except for like with citrus and stuff and onions and aromatics to make the flavor good um but you know cooked in a pan oh yes yes and gravy so yeah and I have gotten pretty good at making both um I usually just buy rolls buy yeast rolls and stuff because I don't delve into too much baking mm. so so yummy And I know Thanksgiving is sort of is a very sort of American holiday um yeah and I know I, I don't celebrate it in the way that oh yeah the pilgrims and blah 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 because I know that whole story is just bull but I like the celebration with food and sort of the thankfulness that goes with the food being grateful for what you have and for what you have around you um yeah I kind of do like that there were some years that it was just like me and like one year it was me and one of my friends and she had just had her oldest son and she was staying with me in my little tiny apartment and we're like, dude, we're having some food. It wasn't much. Oh, one thing I always love is cranberry sauce. Now, back in the day, my grandmother never made her own cranberry sauce. It was always the can and it was shaped like the can and then you sliced it along the lines. I mean, it was, you know, that kind of cranberry sauce. Now I make my own and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So homemade cranberry sauce. Yes, the fat chicken cook. Mm -hmm. Wonderful tea. I'm really loving this by Yogi. Um, hopefully it gives me some energy because I've got a lot to do today. Oh my gosh, I'm actually two and a half hours late going to lunch for, to record this because I was so busy I forgot that time was going by and I had a staff meeting right after lunch and I couldn't be late for it. So I just put off my lunch. It happens. <laughs> and even if it was late, it's nice to take some time for tea. Even if you don't drink tea, take some time for your coffee. Take some time to sit down and read or to journal. Take some time to stare out at the trees and just watch them sway in the breeze. Take some time to watch your crazy cat playing with a big crate of ramen because I have a big huge box of ramen down here that's in packages, but he decided it's a box. He has to be all about it. But do take some time for yourself. Lives are busy. You got to remember to take care of that too. Thank you all for coming by for time for tea. Do you have a tea that you've tried that maybe I might want to try? Let me know because I love learning about new teas. I'm finding new teas every time in these boxes every month. It's so much fun to me. So that's why I subscribe to it. You do. They have a, there's a dollar tea club as well that I know my friend Neva, uh, Manic Mama Musings, subscribes to and she gets her tea that way. So there are lots of ways to get teas and try teas that you haven't tried before. There's a whole world out there of dried up leaves and stuff that you can put in water and make them yummy. <laughs> See you very, very soon. Thank you for coming by. Bye, y'all.